Hello, all you gorgeous guys and gals, my mortgage and real estate professionals. I got a quick one for you today. I'm not doing this as a podcast. I don't want to ramble on about stuff. We're going to cut this together and make it a nice, quick hit video because this is an important message that I want to give to you. Our industry lacks empathy. It just does. And I've noticed it specifically in a recent run of advertisements that I've seen, not really advertisements, it's more marketing materials, whether it's a piece of marketing material that's posted by a mortgage company or by a mortgage loan officer that was either created by that loan officer for themselves or created by the company that they work for, for that loan officer. And the main message is trying to convey to people that if they're renting, they're wasting their money. When you pay rent, every payment you make is making someone else wealthy. I'm a renter. So let's look at my real world example and see exactly why I don't believe that I'm wasting money. I currently live in the city of Orange, California. The main reason we love being here is because my nine-year-old daughter and my one-year-old son still are lucky enough to have two sets of grandparents. One set of grandparents lives about 40 minutes that way. And the other set lives about 25 minutes that way. We're right in between all of our family and we get to see them on a regular basis. The house is three bedrooms, two bathrooms, 1,750 square feet. And what we pay for rent to a lot of people in the nation is going to seem obscene. Our rent every month is $3,250. What? Yeah, it hurts, but not as much as it would hurt if we purchased a house. I tried to look up a comparable that was on the market. And sure as anything, I found one less than a mile over there, just right around the corner. And I saw a three bedroom, two bathroom. I think it was a 1,780 square feet. It went under contract for $988,000. Now let me refresh you, $3,250 a month for rent. But what if we were to buy the house that we live in? Become a homeowner, stop wasting our money. Quit making someone else wealthy with every rent payment that we make. Well, that American dream comes with a price, my friends. Our principal and interest payment would be $2,000 a month higher than our rent. Boom. Roasted. And that's just principal and interest. Once you figure in homeowner's insurance and property taxes, we're looking at just north of, I don't know, $2,600, $2,700 a month more than we're paying now. And notice that I didn't say mortgage insurance because I ran those numbers with a 20% down payment. Just in case you're a little fuzzy on the math, 20% of $988,000 is almost 200 grand. Right. God. We all have 200 grand sitting around just to write a check for, right? Cost to rent is far less than cost to own from where I sit. And this isn't the only neighborhood like that. There are pockets and places like this all over the nation. So the next time you post a you're wasting your money when you rent type of type, type of piece of content, we'll call it piece of content, have some empathy and understanding for the people who are going to be seeing our content. Renting might be wasting your money in comparison to homeownership in many areas but not in every area. I think as mortgage professionals, we could do a lot of good by putting out the message that everybody's situation is different. And we do understand that everyone's situation is different. We expect everyone's situation to be specific to them, which is why we offer custom options for every borrower, which is why they would be benefited by working with a mortgage professional who can advise on their specific situation to come up with the best loan option for them. I really do think that we could benefit from that than by stating blanket messages like renting is wasting your money or marry the house, date the rate. Just be more original, please, please, for me, just be a little bit more original. I don't think I'm wasting my money by renting. Is it worth it for your borrowers? Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's not a concern for them because it's not an issue in their area. But let's be a little bit more sensitive to the wants, needs, and situations that each individual client we have is in. I think that that could be a little secret sauce that you add to your marketing 
in your content as you get yourself out there more and try to cultivate more business. The real estate agent, the mortgage professional that truly understands what the buyer or the borrower is going through in one of the most stressful transactions and definitely one of the most important transactions that they're going to make in their entire life, that person probably has a leg up on getting the business over the next guy down the road.